I am doing a video showing you guys how I conceal my under eye circles. Now this may not be for everybody. Um, I was requested to do this from a few people um, on how to conceal up on your eyes. So I took some tips and tricks that I've learned through YouTube and online and stuff like that um, to conceal them. Now if you want to just skip to the tutorial um, I'll have a thing where you can click up here but otherwise I'm going to talk a little bit about dark circles. Now basically um, the skin around your eyes is very very thin and um, as you get older the elasticity in your eyes dissipates so the veins are more prominent. Um, of course there are a lot of reasons why that they are more prominent you don't get enough sleep, you're on the computer too much, maybe watching too much anime. Yeah. Um, you don't drink enough water. Why do I keep pointing to myself? You know, there's a lot of different things and it could even be genetics. So the reason why you have dark circles can be a wide range of things. Um, basically, you know, the skin around your eyes is a lot thinner than the rest of your face, so you definitely have to take care of it. And, you know, I know there's tons of remedies out there like using cucumbers or ice cubes or tea bags or potatoes or whatever, or you can get an eye cream. Um, which can be costly and well, it's just costly and you know sometimes you don't have the budget to go buy a nice eye cream <laughs> so yeah also another few things that could cause you to have dark circles are allergies yeah, I have terrible allergies all the time, pretty much. Um, I have a lot of nasal problems, I get sinus infections, I know it sounds so glamorous, but it's the truth. Um, if you've seen some of my past videos, you know I have, was born with a cleft palate and lip, which is like, all this is like, gone. Um, and they had to rebuild my nose cavity, so I do get sick a lot, and the result of that is the dark circles and of course rubbing your eyes while you're sick or while you have allergies can also help increase those wonderful black circles that everybody loves. Um, also medication. If you're on medication or you drink a lot um, that can also have a adverse effect blah, blah, blah. that can also have an effect on your eyelids as on your under eye circles. Um, also, if you don't have enough B6 in your blood, that can also kind of contribute to the fact that you have dark circles. So, the B6 helps you with adrenaline, um, so if you're tired all the time, and say you get enough sleep, but you're tired all the time, and maybe an indication that you don't have enough B6, um, I'm sure you can find vitamin B, B6, um, at any health food store, you can probably find it at any grocery store, you know, wherever you can find it. Um, and and it also may be a case of poor vitamin consumption. So, you know, make sure you guys eat right. I know I'm probably the biggest hypocrite to tell anyone to eat right because I love chocolate more than anything. Um, I'm serious. Chocolate and ice cream are like my two, my, my two deadly weapons. Like, I, I don't even talk about it because I'm going to get hungry. <laughs> but, you know, um, drink plenty of water, um, eat right. I mean, all of that can contribute to the dark circles. So, I mean, there's a ton of different things that can cause dark circles under your eyes. And you definitely want to minimize them as soon as possible. And even if you don't have dark circles, in, dark circles under your eyes, you may want to, you know, 
start with something. Start, you know, making sure you sleep at a decent time. Make sure you don't oversleep. Like I do. Because I either undersleep or oversleep. Um, you know, um, e I mean, even medication that you're on can affect it. So there's a lot of different factors that can cause you to have dark circles. Um, so in this video I'm going to show you how to conceal those dark circles. You can use, um, you know, concealers, which I'm going to be using today. Um, you can also use foundation to cover them up if they're not as bad. Um, you know, you can use eyeshadow to kind of add some shimmer underneath your lower lash line. If you have like the under eye bags, that's very popular right now in like K-pop fashion. So you can do that. I mean there's, you know, you can even do the old cucumber um, on your eyes or the tea bags. Oh, sorry, every time I say tea bags, I laugh. Um, do tea bags or potato, you like cut up potatoes and put them on your eyes or um, even ice cubes or something to kind of take the swelling down from your the veins in your eyes. So I hope you guys um, find this tutorial tutorial. I cannot talk today. I hope you guys find this tutorial useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have dark circles and you're part of the dark circle circle club, give it a thumbs up as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and on with the tutorial. Okay, so as you guys can tell, I have some pretty awesome dark circles under my eyes. Um, and uh, we're going to cover these things. <laughs> So first thing I usually do is apply a face primer all over my face, especially underneath um, my eyes because I always have a problem with my foundation kind of going into the lines and the creases. That's what happens when you get old. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to use my NYX Photo Loving Primer and just apply it all over my face and I'm also going to make sure I put some underneath my eyes. I actually work from the inner part out. Usually when I conceal, I use a concealer that's a little bit lighter than what I would normally use. But of course, since I'm super pale, it's very hard to find one. So the only one that works for me is the Hard Candy Glamouflage, and this is an ultra light. Um, yeah, it's a heavy duty concealer. So if you don't want to use something this thick, um, if your dark circles aren't as bad, you can use any of your own kind of concealer. But um, I would suggest it being a little bit lighter than your skin tone, just so it kind of reflects the light and kind of gives you that awake look. So, And you kind of want to do a V shape. Because if you just do the circular shape, it's going to look very noticeable, very obvious that you concealed. So you kind of want to bring it down a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and conceal other areas because life hates me. After that, I use my ring finger because it's the finger that has the least amount of pressure and you won't do any more damage to your eyelids. So you see how pigmented that is? I'm just going to kind of pat it and work it downward. And then I'm going to set it with powder. I'm just going to use some clear setting powder first. I'm just going to set my whole face with it. And this is my Mary Kay setting powder. This is like so amazing. I love it so much. Okay. So I have all my face makeup on and a little bit of eye makeup. Um, 
you know, another way that you guys can kind of mask the darkness up under your eyes is to add like a shimmery tan or peach color right up underneath your um, lower lash line. And it's very popular in K-pop. Um, you see a lot of artists wear a super, super shimmery color up underneath the lower lash line. And basically, it gives that kind of um, cutesy puppy dog look without drawing too much attention to it. Um, it just adds that little pop of shimmer that just kind of, you know, sh it doesn't really show the darkness because you know, um, if you're a fan of K-pop, you know that they have crazy schedules and they probably work more than the average human um, that has like a nine to five job or even that works retail, they pretty much work all the time. So, you know, they have to have dark circles and by kind of emphasizing and adding shimmer on top, it takes away from the darkness up under your eyes. Um, another way is to use a salmon colored concealer. Um, I have one from NYX and it's the it's actually a dark circle concealer and this isn't fair. It's a little bit too dark for me, honestly, but I've been using it because it has kind of a salmon tone to it because the orange cancels out the blue. Um, because basically that's what color your veins are up underneath there. Um and you really want to cancel them out. Also, you know, you can use like I said a lighter uh, foundation or concealer up under your eyes. Um, I also have one from Rimmel, the Match Perfection 2-in-1 Concealer and Highlighter. This is really good as well um, because it also has a bit of shimmer to it. It has a brush tip so you can get right into the inner corners of your eyes and it's a lot thinner consistency than the um, Hard Candy Glamouflage. This is honestly, this is more like foundation kind of thickness and this is a lot thinner if you want something thinner, if you don't have as dark circles as I do or you know if you have some dark circles that are darker you might want to go with the Glamouflage. I mean this is like six bucks at Walmart. Um, and I think this was about six dollars as well. The NYX, I believe, was eight or ten dollars. So, you know, kind of look around and see what concealers work best for you with your budget, all that kind of stuff. Because, honestly, I mean, I like, you know, MAC and Urban Decay, but I don't think I would spend that much money on their concealers unless it was like you know, had more than one purpose, if you know what I mean, like, it could, like, you know, reduce the darkness up under your eyes, um, so yeah, I hope you guys found this video useful, um, if you did, give it a thumbs up, and, um, yeah, go to bed early, and stop watching all those shows, which I'm totally not going to, but I'm gonna <laughs> at least try, um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, Thank you guys so much for the request, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.